Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison from Atom to Sublime. Now, this isn't going to be super in-depth, and it's not going to cover every little bit of thing that you might want to know. It's just my sort of personal thoughts on using Sublime versus using Atom. So let's get going on that now. So here we have two applications side by side both of which look very similar with the right tweaks. Now, so now these applications are both using different UI themes and they're both the material design theme. So now this isn't going to be necessarily a review of the individual UI themes here because there's just, they both have a lot of options. This is more just going to be my general thoughts on both of these editors. Now, I really like Sublime Text and I really like Atom. So, Let's talk about recommendations. I would recommend Atom for you if you have not purchased Sublime Text already. As a free editor, Atom really stands up to what you get with Sublime Text. Now, there are some little differences here and there in the package ecosystem. Some package might not be available for Atom, and some might not be available for Sublime Text. If you've purchased Sublime Text already, there's not a ton of incentive to switch over to Atom. Chances are you've already had package control installed at this point and you are in a workflow where you can quickly add packages. If that's you, then by all means continue using Sublime Text. It's a very performative, uh, it's a nice application. There's not a ton of reason to directly switch to Atom if you've already purchased and are using Sublime Text 3. Now this is just my personal opinion. Opinion. If you feel like Adam is bringing something totally different, uh, then feel free to leave that opinion in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Now, let's talk about some of the things I don't like about Adam versus Sublime Text. Now, I'm going to tell you this list is going to be very short. Adam has a tendency to be slower. Now, there can be some latency in the key typing. Basically, you're going to see a little bit of a lag that you won't see with Sublime Text. Now I know some people say that they don't notice this, other people say they notice this a lot. I personally notice this uh, pretty frequently and enough to sort of annoy me, but not to put me off from using Atom entirely. Now I should also note that this bit of lag is probably getting better all the time, and it is going to be a matter of what packages you have installed. Maybe there's a package that's submitted by the community that has uh, some sort of uh, non-performative code and it's causing your application to be slow that's certainly possible and i know that in the time that i've used adam it's gotten uh, quite a bit faster till the point where that lag is uh, not certainly as noticeable as it used to be so since i have these two side by side here i want to just show off some things that make uh, adam a better application for somebody new to text editors uh, we have let's go to adam preferences and as you can see we have settings key bindings packages themes and it's all clicking and searching from within the application you don't need to install or download anything to get this functionality in sublime text we can come in and we can say preferences you'll notice we don't necessarily have a preferences page we have some preferences and it might be even confusing if you have never looked at this. Sure we have settings default user more. If we come into settings user, yours might not even have anything if you don't have any user settings. To even set user settings you need to come to preferences, default, find the setting you want, copy it and paste it in here, or know what the setting is already and modify it yourself. Now I have no problem doing this. I've been uh, setting my sublime settings like this for a long time, but if you were to ask me to choose between this and this over here with Adam, I would pick Adam's interface every single time. It's much nicer. Now, in addition, having a package control or install packages built in to these settings rather than having to go to a third party to get a package control is another feature of Adam that certainly trumps that of Sublime Text. So this is where what I said before, if you're new to text editors or you have never purchased Sublime Text and you're, you haven't used it a whole lot, Atom is going to be much friendlier to you. And the package ecosystem is certainly large enough that it's going to pretty much contain everything that you would possibly need. 
Now, once again, if you already, like me, have a ton of settings set up in Sublime Text and your package control is working fine, your projects are all here, there's not a ton of incentive to switch just for this nicer interface. Uh, after you download Atom, you would have to then go ahead and fish for all of the packages that you'd want to find, and uh, you'd have to know the different names. For instance, I use a package called Git Gutter on Sublime Text. It's called Git hyphen diff for the same functionality on, on Atom here. So you have to do a little bit of research to make sure you get your workflow back to where it was. So that said, in my day to day, I'm probably going to be opening up Sublime Text more often only because like I said, mine's fully configured the way I like it already. And there isn't necessarily a killer feature driving me over to Atom just yet. However, if I'm setting up a new environment on a computer, I might be tempted to just install Atom and use that because there is a lot of momentum behind it. There's a lot of great people working on it and it's free. It's a nice little ecosystem here. So to pick between these two, you can't really say blanket yes to one or the other. In fact, there's other smart choices that aren't either of these. At the end of the day, use what works best for you. If you have a favorite text editor, post it in the comments of this video. Or tell me what you like about Sublime vs. Atom, Atom vs. Sublime if you've used both. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you for watching the Atom tutorial series. There's going to be a lot more videos coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.